Hey guys, Danny here with Retro Camera Review. And on today's Tech Talk, I'm gonna talk about how much can you overexpose your film? Well, a lot. Um, but weird things start to happen. You basically are limited by either your scanner or your darkroom printer and how far you can uh, pull out the negative. And the reason for that is because you can keep adding information to film. Like it'll keep collecting it when you overexpose, which is the complete opposite of digital where at a certain point, if you overexpose, you reach 255. That bit or whatever that number represents is pure white and there's no information there in terms of any sort of color. So say you were overexposed on your picture and you wanted to tone it down, well, you'll just tone it down to a level of gray instead of any sort of color. But that's not like that with film. Black and white and C41, you can pretty much overexpose all you want. Uh, here's an example of a Properly, well, it's kind of, this is a properly exposed black and white negative. You can kind of see some detail through there if I'm not totally blowing it out. And then here is a properly exposed C41 negative. So one time uh, when I was shooting C41, I completely overexposed the negative. Like I, I was, sh I left the shutter open and I loaded the film and then <laughs> by the time I got ready to shoot the picture, I realized I had overexposed for about a minute. That is this negative. Now it's, pretty dark and you pretty much can barely see through it. Look at how much it stops down my light. Uh, just for comparison, here's a properly exposed negative or about, and here's a minute overexposed negative. Uh, so I was pretty sure that I wasn't gonna be able to print on this at all. In fact, like just looking at it, you have no idea what's on it. I tried to print it in the dark room and I ended up having to expose it for like seven to 10 minutes under the light. Um, this is something you could never ever do on a scanner or not that I know of. You'd have to like get your camera out and do some fancy stuff to get back the information on this negative. But basically a minute overexposed negative printed out to this. Uh, that's kind of a nice picture actually. Because it was a minute long exposure, weird things started to happen on the film. I mean, if you look at the edges on it, you can start to see this weird red and black thing going on and then even in other parts of it, there's kind of this weird, almost like milky mess on top of it or something. It's called reciprocity failure. Now that is when you start to overexpose your film by 20 seconds or more in most cases. And reciprocity failure is where film starts to get weird and things happen that you didn't normally expect. Reciprocity is when the relationship between the aperture and the shutter of how you're exposing an image break down. So say you're doing astronomy, uh, which is where they do a lot of really long exposures and they used to use film, but not anymore. They would expose something out in the galaxy <laughs> with a film that would actually pick up whatever light was out there. Remember, we've got infrared and other things out there. Say they were shooting out there and they had F11 at uh, 30 minutes. Well, to change to F16, one stop down, then they'd have to start exposing it 200 minutes. That's pretty crazy. Uh, the reason for that is because when the light is hitting those silver halide uh, grains or whatever you want to call them, they start to build up over time and get kind of stiff and, and stuck and they stop receiving information at the same rate. Uh, it's just how chemicals change after they've already kind of reacted enough. Just like in a solution of something, you know, something get oversaturated and then it stops mixing. It's kind of the same thing with light a little bit. Same thing happens with color. Color breaks down over time. In fact, on this picture, I know it's not a perfectly printed color balance anyways, but the color balance on this definitely went towards the green. You can have a tungsten film. In fact, there was a popular tungsten 64 speed slide film back in the day. Keep exposing it for minutes at a time. And the film would basically turn into a daylight film because of the shift. So you don't need a, a, um, a balancer on there at all. Like a, you don't need a blue filter to fix that. It would just do it on its own. So film changes properties. And, Really the only way to know this stuff is to research whatever film you're gonna shoot. Uh, because it all gets weird once you stop exposing within the normal range that we normally use. You can overexpose film quite a bit. And this is proof of that. But the pro, no, this is not the proof. That's the proof. But weird shit starts to happen. So you gotta watch out. I hope that kind of helped expand on our conversation a little bit and informed you a little bit. And why don't you go try overexposing some film now? Just knock yourself out. You have a great time with it. Anyways, I'm Danny. 
Thank you for sitting with me for like 10 minutes here and talking with me because I'm lonely and I need friends. So give me a like if you thought this was interesting or give me a thumbs down. I'm sure there's somebody who's just gearing to give me a thumbs down. Anyways, that's how all of YouTube is. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.